Today's November 5th and I'm filming the intro to this 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 ridiculous video. <laughs> About five days ago, I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and remove the harness completely out of our E90 and transfer it over our E91 and hopefully figure out a way to get it everything routed. Now, honestly, it wasn't that difficult um, up until we got to the trunk area, which we haven't done yet, mainly because we do a lot of custom wiring. But for the meantime, to get this bad boy running and driving and everything, um, we got everything prepped up in this one video. And I decided instead of dragging it out to be 30 minutes to show you guys all the little, you know, the NC little, little things, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and just make it five minutes so you guys can see all the hard work done in the last like four or five days in five minutes. And this is one of those videos that's like, uh, it doesn't look like a lot got done, but a lot got done, guys. The wiring harness is what connects all the modules, is what pretty much powers everything in the entire car. So the fact that we got mostly everything routed, um, you guys are about to see how cool this is gonna look. Now for the next couple of minutes, you guys are not gonna hear my voice. For some of you guys, you're gonna love it. For some of you guys, you're gonna hate it. Well, it is what it is.
And guys, after countless of hours of non-stop work, I am happy to say we pretty much got the harness routed exactly the way it's supposed to be. We literally have all the foam pieces, all these tabs, everything connected properly. You guys can see all the wiring, the grounds, the fuse box, everything's connected. This belongs to the airbag. I went ahead and literally checked every single wire, what it all connects to. I mean, for the most part, I do know what I'm doing. This cage is fully connected at this point, so technically we could throw in the dashboard. All these wires over here are routed. All of this is routed. We went ahead and put the foam stuff back over there same on that side and same on this side i'm not gonna lie guys we have come such a long way with this car and this is not the e91 harness this is the e91 m3 harness is so far up to this point everything is the same thankfully the last thing i need to do to complete the rear seats wiring to the front of the car is just connect uh the rear seat buckles but i noticed when i was trying to put in these seat buckles which is the ones that came with the car um that they're actually blown i didn't actually know that i don't know why they are blown i did know i had an airbag light but i did not know that the rear seats were blown so that is kind of crazy but thank Hopefully, I think the M3 ones, which look a lot nicer, is going to work just fine. I did literally notice, guys, that every single module, every single connector, everything for the M3 is completely different. So when you guys buy an M3, you're literally getting your money's worth because every single thing is literally different. I thought the modules underneath the frame itself is the same, but it's actually different. And I actually threw out one of them. So I had to go get one from a dismantler and I had to go ahead and install it. So I literally had to transfer every little thing. So if you guys want to do a build like this, I do not recommend just buying an engine transmission and buying everything else on ebay you're gonna end up spending way too much money i definitely recommend doing what i did which is get a donor car uh, but yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and install these buckles and then i'm gonna give you guys a quick cinematic And guys, about a few days later, um, we're just sitting here. We're honestly just chilling because I'm, I'm genuinely thinking about putting on this front suspension and putting in the engine and transmission um, pretty soon here. Like I'm thinking um, either this video or next video, but just because of how long this video is, I think I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video as of right now. We didn't finish the wiring in the rear trunk area, but we did finish all the wiring for pretty much the fuel tank, the rear buckles, this little rear section here, everything in the front, literally it's all situated. I'm gonna leave it kind of bare looking for a little bit because I do want to retrofit keyless entry. I think it's gonna be really dope. I think it's gonna be really cool. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do just install the engine and transmission put on that front suspension so we can kind of just get the weight of the car kind of balanced out because right now i'm literally using a cherry picker on the rear i have some tires right back here to make sure it doesn't fall back literally all the weight on this car is on the rear and i just want it to be evened out we can actually set this thing on the ground it'd be so much easier to work with once it's on the ground so yeah guys that is gonna have to conclude this video hopefully in the next video we're gonna try to get the engine transmission in and then try to fully service that engine so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash the like button but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all on the next one peace out